Katie. Where are you going? Hey, Katie. Well, good morning. Hey, what's the matter? Didn't you see me? Huh? I couldn't have looked very closely, could I? <laughs> For a second there, I thought you'd forgotten all about our luncheon date. Date? Oh, Oh, no. No, I didn't forget. You were walking right past me. Oh, how could you think I'd forget? I'll be right back. I, um, I want to speak to that sailor at the end of the wharf. Oh, sure. Sure, go ahead. Morning, Phil. Morning, Miss Pat. Uh, Phil, will you please tell Mr. Fraser I can't possibly come out for lunch today? Yes, Miss Pat, I'll tell him. Thank you. Tell him I'm dreadfully sorry. You really dolled yourself up today. I always doll myself up when I have a luncheon engagement. I have a wonderful idea. Let's go to the cottage for lunch. Oh, now, wait a minute. You know how you've been about keeping me away from there. It's a woman's privilege to change her mind. Well, well that's just fine. Good. More coffee? No, 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 thanks, Katie. I'm just right. It was a divine night last night, wasn't it? Yes. Yes, it was. Unusual to have it warm enough to go without a coat. That's right. Katie, you got me going around in circles. Yeah, I don't know if I can quite explain it. But look, you're a swell person. I always knew that. But, well, it, it, it just seems that there was something lacking. Now, maybe I can explain it this way. It's like you were a cake. A cake? Uh-huh. Yeah. A cake without any frosting. And I guess, well, I guess most guys are kind of like the frosting. You know what I mean? And today, you think I'm well frosted. I'll say. <laughs> no, I, was, I was never more fooled in my life. <laughs> Katie. Katie, I guess you know that I think you're something special. I'm afraid I think you're something special, too. Well, what I... I really want to say is... Well, what was it you wanted? Oh. Hello, Katie. You're not seeing things, Bill. It's true. Well, I'll... Be. Hello, Bill. I see you did keep our date for lunch. Well, I, I, I thought I did. <laughs> Look at him, Katie. Bill, if you could only see your face. That, that's very clever. <laughs> Which one of you think these things up? I'm always the one. Katie, I swear I was going to confess, but you came home just a second too soon. Well, it's lucky for you she did. You were just about to be kissed by a perfect stranger. As you can see, it's very easy to confuse us. Yes. Uh, Katie, your sister here is a very dangerous woman. Well, I better be on my way. I have to catch the four o'clock boat. Will you walk to the gate with me, Katie? Going away? Yes, I'm going to Boston overnight on business. Oh, uh, uh, thanks for the lunch. Uh, Patricia. Uh, Patricia. Bill, Pat, Pat's apt to do crazy things. Oh, that's all right, Katie. Oh, uh, the Lippincotts are giving an old-fashioned barn dance tomorrow night, and I'll be back in time. Would you like to go with me? I'd love to. All right, I'll pick you up at 8 o'clock. I'll be ready. So long, Katie. So long, Bill. Have a good trip. All the Boston papers. Boston I'd like to buy a paper bill, but I don't seem to have any change. Well, hello. Hello. Which one is it? You know. Uh, yes. I know. How'd you get here, Pat? Flew over. Lots of people have to go to Boston, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they do. I haven't done a square dance, Bill, since I was a kid. Hope you don't mind if I step all over your feet. No, we'll step on each other's feet, Katie. If you are Katie. I swear by my honor, it's Kate. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> well, here we go. Bill, there's Pat. Huh? Well, so it is. I wonder how she knew about this. Uh, uh, maybe the Lippincotts invited her. But she doesn't know the Lippincotts. Well, maybe I mentioned it to her in Boston. Boston? Uh, yes, I, I did. Didn't you know that Pat went to Boston yesterday? No, I didn't. Well, well, good evening, Kate, dear. Hello, Freddie. Freddie, this is Bill Emerson, my cousin, Mr. Lindley. Well, how do you do, Mr. Emerson? Pat come with you, Freddie? Yes, yes, she did. She asked me to bring her. This... Uh, Sudden passion for the bucolic life. Hardly her type of thing, is it? Well, Bill, aren't you going to ask me to dance? Well, sure, Pat, sure. I'll be right back, Katie. Well, that was quick work. Katie, let's you and I have a nice cool drink of Applejack, shall we? No, thanks, Freddy. Katie, tell me something. Just where does Pat fit into this jigsaw puzzle? It's a long story, Freddy, and I don't feel like telling it. Excuse me, I think I'll... Go out and have a cigarette. 
Katie? Freddie, don't bother about me. Hey, would you like to take a drive, Katie, huh? It's a fine night. Can I get you some coffee, then? You can drink it out here. Oh, for heaven's sake, say something. Katie, if that Bill Emerson means so much to you, fight for him. I can't. Why must you always let that sister of yours get ahead of you? Freddie, take me home. Why, Katie, I thought you'd be asleep. We missed you. Bill looked everywhere for you. Pat, you know I've never been very good at mincing words. What does Bill mean to you? I might as well admit it, Katie. I'm mad about him. And he feels the same way. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. It isn't anybody's fault. Bill's so fond of you, Katie. Over and over he said what a swell person you are and what fun you'd had together. Oh, skip it. Pat, do you know Bill? Do you understand the kind of things he likes? The kind of life he likes? You've never known anybody like him before. When Bill's kind fall in love, they mean it. I know the kind of person Bill is, Katie, and I am mad about him. You must believe me. I believe you. And I wish you all the happiness in the world. You said yourself a minute ago that it wasn't anyone's fault. Go to bed, Pat. Go on before I make a fool of myself. Please. It was just one of those things, Kate's twin sister, Pat, and Bill Emerson. Their meeting, their falling in love, and now, in the sister's spacious home in New York, their marriage. Cousin Freddie has just observed that Kate has slipped away from the wedding guests and gone upstairs to her studio. I thought you were probably in here. I wanted to get away for a few minutes, Freddie. You should go back to the guests. Kate, you've got to forget. Forget Pat, Bill, everything. There's nothing you can do about it. I know. I know there's nothing I can do about it. Have you made any plans? I'm going to work to paint. Now you're talking. That's my girl. Hello, hello. Long distance. I was hello, talking... Hello, Kate. Are you still there? <laughs> yes, we were cut off, Freddie. But you were saying something about an exhibition. Yes, the Gruen Gallery on Madison Avenue. My oils and watercolors. Are you proud of me? Kate, that's just wonderful. When? Two weeks from tomorrow. Good evening. There's one nice feature about art exhibits. What? The buffet table. When the paintings bore you, try the hors d'oeuvre. I intend to fill up before I'm thrown out. Who's going to throw you out? Don't be funny. Look at me, I'm a bum. By any chance, are you also an artist? Enough of one to have an opinion of this exhibition. Oh, then you're a critic as well. You don't have to be a critic to recognize an amateur. Well, most of the people here don't seem to share your opinion. These people? What do you expect them to say? Well, I think I may as well tell you. I painted this collection. I was wondering when you'd confess. How'd you get in? I walked in. I was hungry. What do you do? I paint. But I never had an exhibition, if that's what you're driving at. If you had the opportunity, what would you do? You're making me an offer? I think I'd like to see some of your work. Find out whether you're a phony or not. Well, let's get out of here. I'll show you. Now? Now or never. I'll get my coat and meet you outside. Oh, 